hello guys welcome to Sandy mix online tutorials on today's episode we're going to be discussing on simple harmonic motion <laughs> Welcome back. So we have a question on ground, and the question says the displacement y as a function of time of a particle executing simple harmonic motion is given by y equals four sine open bracket zero point two t plus zero point three close bracket. All terms are in SI units. So in this question now we need to write it out let's write it out first let's know what we're working with so y is equals 4 sine theta from bracket 0 0.2 t plus 0 0.3 and we say all of them are in si units so if you remember if you remember remember we have this equation a simple harmonic equation when we say e cos bracket angular speed plus t plus phase angle so you see that this can be equated like we can say this equal this equal the this equal this, this equal this so our first question says we should find the angular accelerate angular frequency sorry an angular frequency is around this side because of this W. This uh, sorry, W this omega. So we say W T, which is omega T, sorry, is equal to 0 0.2 T. This T cancels out this T. So uh, W or omega is equal to 0 0.2 rad per second. So we've gotten our angular frequency. Now our frequency can also be gotten using formula. Now our frequency, you will remember our, our angular velocity is going to be equal to 2 pi f. And this is the frequency we are in actual for. So we make frequency subject of formula. So our frequency is equal to to our angular velocity which is equal to 0 0.2 over 2 times 3.142 which gives us when you punch that in your calculator you should have about 0 0.03 hertz right yeah so our next question says we should find the period we should find the what the period Remember, our period can be calculated as 1 over f or 2 pi over angular velocity, which is 2 times 3.142 over 0 0.2, which is equal to 31.4. Right, 1.4 seconds. So that's our period. So what I'm basically doing is I'm just I'm just equating them like this equal this, this equal this, this equal this, and this equal this. So our next question says we should find the phase of the motion that is the phase angle. So if you look closely, we have a phase angle here, which is this. When you equate it to this, we see our phase angle equals zero point what point three you get it right so now we've gotten our phase angle so we go to section two section two asks us to find the initial velocity and acceleration of the particle when we're looking for our initial acceleration it happens when our t is equal to zero it happens when our t is equals what our t equals zero and we need to differentiate it if you have a problem in differentiation you can visit the mass one to one section of this channel it has been explained there so we go now to uh, to the differentiation of it what we are differentiating is the first 
uh, equation that was given to us, which is y is equals 4 sine open bracket 0 0.2t plus 0 0.3, right? So now we differentiate this, which is the y, we differentiate in respect to t, the y dt. So we say 4 sine u, where our u is representing 0 0.2t plus 0 0.3. So differentiating this gives us 4 cos u. And that is for the first one. Now differentiating du in respect to t, which is 0 0.2. So we say 0 point is going to be times 0 0.2, which is equal 0 0.8 cos u, which is equal to... 0 0.2t plus 0 0.3. Now, when t is equal 0, we say 0 0.8, boom bracket 0 0.3. Remember, so we're going to have it to be equal 0. 0.8 meter per seconds. So after we've gotten that, we need to get our acceleration. And so the question is the question asks us to get our acceleration. So from this point, yes, from this point, we're going to differentiate it again. So we're going to have the squared y over the t squared equals. 0 0.8 cos u so differentiating is you have 0 0.8 sine and when you're talking of sine you have to put your minus in the differentiation of cos to sine is going to be minus sine sine u times 0 0.2 differentiating becomes 0 0.2 our answer, has be our answer becomes minus 0 0.16 sine u which happens to be 0 0.2 t plus 0 0.3 so answer is minus system minus 1 6 minus 0 point one six sine 0 0.3 Which amounts to this equal to so when we do, get that we have 0 0.00084. So, so we have we have a three section of this question. Our number three section asks us to calculate the maximum velocity. And acceleration so when we calculate maximum velocity max velocity which is equal to a w which is 4 times 0 0.2 which is equal to 0 0.8 meter per seconds. Now, max acceleration is equal to A W squared was 4 times 0 0.2 squared equals 0 0.6 meter per seconds with the squared don't forget that with the squared yeah so i'm going to give a comprehension so you can try this out at home and if you have a problem trying this you can drop a comment on the comment session
थैंक यू